What's up guys? I just wanted to do some quick tips on how to make really clean auger plates. So a lot of people ask me how I get my, my auger to look so clear. And one of the um, key tips that I like to tell people is to clean out these jars really well. So any debris that would be left in your media bottle um, before you pour your clean auger into is going to get contaminated. So make sure that your, uh, your pouring vessel is clean. Make sure that your, um, the pot that you're boiling the auger is clean. And another really important tip is to make sure that it's completely dissolved. So a lot of people, they won't go through the extra two or three minutes to dissolve that auger. And what will happen is as it's cooking, it'll cook unevenly and that could cause some caramelization problems. Um, I really like using this tool here. It kind of mixes it up really nice. I got it as a gift from my mother-in-law and it's probably the best auger mixer ever. Um, so then I guess the last tip I have is to make sure that you pour them at the right temperature. Um, so we'll cook these for 20 minutes at 15 PSI or 250 degrees Fahrenheit and then we'll let them cool down to about 130 before we pour. All right, so see how nice and clear that auger is once it's completely dissolved. So my tip to all the um, people that are just starting to pour their own plates is make sure you don't fill that jar up too tall as well. You want to leave your headspace so that when it's boiling, it doesn't get into your pressure cooker. And also, I like to um, back off my lids a quarter turn so that any pressure inside um, that builds up during sterilization won't cause backflow and um, create a mess inside your pressure cooker. Alright guys, so I'm just gonna let these dry overnight and sit for about 72 hours to QC them and then they'll be good. What's up guys? So it's been about four days now and I just let these plates all sit in my flow hood over the weekend and I, now I'm just gonna go through them and double check that there's no contamination. So you can see how nice and clear these are. Um, just by letting, letting them sit at room temperature a few days before I use them gives them that nice clear. Um, you can see on this one that there's some air bubbles. So that was from when I was mixing the jars. It creates some air bubbles. It's not going to affect the growth or anything, but I usually save these um, for my own production. And then if you just look, you can see how nice and clear these plates are so give us a thumbs up if you enjoy our videos subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these um, comment below if you have any more questions about how to get clear plates like this 
I think it's a huge um, step forward if you can pour your own petri dishes and that will lead to breeding your own mushrooms and doing your own lab work. So um, it's just as simple as you know cleaning out all of your your components really well while you're doing the process. Um, you got to have attention to detail and just be patient. Don't use these plates before they sit um, for four days or you could end up with a huge you know lot of contamination that you're not catching but I know now that these have been sitting out for some time that all these plates are sterile and I'll go ahead and move forward with my production um, so check out our Etsy shop fresh fungi we just loaded up some liquid cultures and they're going really fast these days so I'm gonna try to keep up and I've got some new strains um, that are coming out I got a Namiko and I want to do my um, my King Strafaria as soon as I see some fruits I'll post those up on our Etsy fresh fungi and um, stay tuned we've got some really big news coming up and I just wanted to you know um, give you guys the secrets on how to make really good auger all right guys until next time much love